what happened Saturday night is anything. It's a reminder that we do need to be prepared, and we keep talking about it. For years, earthquake experts on Vancouver Island have warned us over and over about the big one. Not a matter of if, but when we are going to be hit. And when it does, seismologists say we'll know it. CTV's Joe Perkins has that. This is essentially what I arrived at uh, to see last night when I came into the office. Since uh, Saturday night, Alison Bird has been trying to determine what happened. This earthquake was a little different to what we would have expected. By now, we know the highlights, where the quake struck, how strong it was, and how communities as far away as Hawaii responded. And that seems to be where the information stops. Uh, there's still uh, a lot of uh, discussion about what exactly happened. It's a discussion involving seismologists around the world. So far, what's clear is that the quake struck off the Queen Charlotte Fault. The Queen Charlotte Fault is generally strike-slip, meaning any rupture would come from the two plates, or for our purposes, two sheets of paper sliding against one another like this. Now, what happened on Saturday was a little bit different. From all the tests that have been done, seismologists say two things have happened. They've seen some compression where the two plates push into one another like this, but they've also seen what's called a normal fault, where the two plates pull apart. And then complicating matters even more is the fact that there were so many aftershocks. They happen by the minute, hundreds of them, and they haven't stopped. The most recent hitting off Sandspit just before 2 this afternoon. On Saturday, Victoria escaped untouched. Good news because not every building is ready. No, there's still more work to do. How do we get another 100 years life out of this building? It's a question that has come up often, and not just at City Hall, where a $6 million seismic upgrade is currently in the works. Similar upgrades are being done to buildings across the region and the province, but will they be done in time? Was this the big one? This is, this is not um, anything to do with the Cascadia um, subduction zone. A zone that could cause five minutes of shaking across a 1,000 kilometer path from Vancouver Island to California. The chances of that happening in the next 50 years, seismologists say one in 10. It means if the preparations need to be done, now's a good time to start. Joe Perkins, CTV News, Victoria.